Over four years and in just as many seasons, Star Wars Rebels tells one of the best stories set in the Star Wars universe, and it does all of this by introducing a new cast of characters and reincorporating fan-favorite elements of the old expanded universe. Set five years before Rogue One, Rebels explores the very beginning of what eventually becomes the Rebel Alliance and follows the exploits of the Ghost and its crew as they fight against the Empire. Produced by the same team that made the award-winning Clone Wars TV show, Rebels is the first TV show made by Lucasfilm after the Disney acquisition. This put the show in a tough spot since it not only had to meet the standards set by the Clone Wars, but also had to establish its own identity as a series. On top of that, Rebels focused on a whole new cast of characters, so it couldn't rely on established fan enthusiasm for characters from the original trilogy like Obi-Wan or Darth Vader. Without the ability to lean on fan favorites, Rebels would have a hard time telling that kind of galaxy-spanning war drama the Clone Wars was famous for. So instead of a million stories scattered throughout the galaxy, Rebels tells a longer, more focused story centered on the Spectre's base of Lothal. As a result, Rebels is able to explore the day-to-day -day life of people under Imperial rule with a greater depth and richness than the Clone Wars was ever able to accomplish for Front Republic or Separatist citizens. This smaller focus doesn't mean a smaller scope, however, and Rebels charts the growth of a single resistance becoming an important part of a wider rebellion against the Empire. At its core, Rebels is a coming-of-age story. We follow Ezra Bridger as he goes from an orphaned Force-sensitive ceiling to survive, to a self-sacrificing young Jedi protecting the innocent from Imperial oppression. Mentoring him along the way are his Jedi Master Kanan Jarrus and Ace Pilot Hera Syndulla. Mandalorian Alka Sabine Wren, Last of His Kind Gareth Aurelios, and Psychopathic Astromech Chopper round out the rest of the crew. Together, their relationship formed the backbone for one of the more central themes of the show, which is the importance of family, whether it's the one you're born with or the one you choose. The initial presentation of these themes might be where some people write the show off as childish, especially if they were expecting a more mature tone similar to The Clone Wars or Rogue One. That said, as Ezra matures, so does the show, and I would encourage anyone put off by the initial tone to keep watching through to the end. Even if you don't end up loving the show, there will at least be enjoyable set pieces and moments to make it all worthwhile. In particular, Rebels explores the mysteries of the Force with such perfect execution that the show surpasses even the films in establishing its infinite potential. Most importantly, Rebels expands the philosophical understanding of the Force by not only diving into the histories of the Jedi and Sith, but also by presenting philosophies and cultures that exist outside of those two religions with just as valid a claim to understanding the Force as either of them. But the show doesn't just expand the Star Wars universe by breaking new ground. Rebels' art direction is heavily inspired by Ralph McQuarrie's concept art for A New Hope, and everything from the design of new aliens and planets to the reimagining of older versions of things such as A-Wings or Imperial Walkers harkens back to all the work put out by Star Wars' original concept artists. Beyond that, Rebels lovingly reincorporates fan-favorite legends such as Timothy Zahn's Grand Admiral Thrawn, with the Hammerhead Corvette from Knights of the Old Republic, and so a link is established between some of the best parts of the old expanded universe and the new canon. Without a doubt, Star Wars Rebels exceeds expectations, and is able to masterfully weave together elements of the new books, comics, and films into a tapestry that seamlessly connects the wider Star Wars universe with the original films. I give it an E11 Blaster Rifle out of 10.